God speaks every day per second billing. Every day. Yoruba, we call him a beti luja rabi a jere, meaning he has ears all over. You know, one day I was figuring that out, like when God wanted to create us, he said, let's come together to create man in our image. Because he had so many eyes, so many ears, if he had created us that way, we'll probably look like spirits. Hallelujah. If you just see, I have two eyes now. If you see eyes all over my head, everywhere, I can see around the clock, <laughs> you run away. So he needed to, where do we put this? Where do we put this? How do we limit it? You know, just so that they are human. They are not in the spirit yet, you know. And that was why I needed the help of other people to figure that out. But I tell you, he speaks every day. And he speaks directly to human beings every day. Over 2,000 times in the Old Testament, there are phrases like God spoke, God said, God did this. And God spoke to Moses. And the word of God came to Jonah. And God said, different examples. So God speaks to people. If you have the opinion that maybe he's just reading the Bible that is the word of God. Yes, that's correct. I'll tell you how you use that to also hear from God. But God speaks directly to human beings. Let's say an example. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9. And the Bible says, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. God speaks, gives instructions, orders you to do things like the word can never do. Orders your steps. All of this is when God speaks. It is mostly important that you hear from God directly and not through a third party. Christians appreciate their pastors is only what he says that he is finer. So when the pastor makes an error, the error goes directly into their lives. I want you to avoid that. Don't use a third party to assess God. You yourself can do it. I'm not saying don't pray together with us. I'm not saying don't uh, seek for counsel. You know, it's just like school. You want to do masters now. You probably say, oh, how do you achieve this? How can I write this? Not like you won't be the one doing it, but you seek for help. And there are loads of benefits. You see, what you are missing in life today that you call prayer points is because you don't hear from God. You shouldn't miss anything. Basically. Because there are huge benefits of hearing from God. Whenever your faith dwindles, it's because you are not hearing from God. My father asked me that when I was in trouble because I didn't want to do the ministry and I was having attacks all over the place and later I had to agree and then I went into huge penury for about three and a half years in between. My family member didn't know I was under that immense pressure because they were not even really interested, you know? If they ask us to send anything, I can't send anything. If they are doing anything, I only go there by whatever. So I was not that relevant because I didn't have money again. So he asked me one day and said, how did you go through these details and you can still be standing and be happy then that we didn't know it was that bad. I said, God told me what he was taking me through. So I didn't have doing it faith. The reason you are afraid about your situation is because you know nothing about that situation. You have gotten into a situation you know absolutely nothing about. You don't know how to continue. You don't know how to get out of it. That's what they call panic. The way I'm preaching here, if I hear a gunshot, I say, back, 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 back. You think I would be this calm? No. If I have my gun too, I will run and carry. Because I don't know if they are coming. Hallelujah. If I don't want, I will lie down and say, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> if I have, if I know that they are doing uh, maybe, what do they call that? Uh, public something that people are just happy. And they are running out. The ones they do in Cross River regularly every year. Carnival. If they are doing carnival and I know they are doing carnival, even if I am, will I say anything? No. Once you don't hear from God, you don't know what is happening to you. That's why you panic. That's why you have no faith. And that's part of the advantage. Number two is you cannot know the truth unless God speaks to you. How do you intend to know the truth? They say four, four people ate you in that office. So. so the number one person that they said ate you come to you and said, ah, you are the best best thing that ever happened to us in this office and they already told you he hates you this one come and say ah 
If you see this other one, very terrible, every time, you'll be saying, God will punish you. you say, eh? This one will come and say, the one that told you, God will punish you. you say, I love you. You are the one that... <laughs> now, how do you know the truth? Because human beings can say something and mean something different. Now, when God speaks, say, this one be weary. Remove this one, put this one on point. This is who you are going to choose next. And then you do it. So everybody will be like, ah, how did you understand that is this one? You know they know the truth, but they're hiding it from you. But the Holy Spirit will come up with the truth. So the reason you are saying, I don't even know who to trust now. I don't know what to do again now. You don't have... Okay, don't let me say it like that. You are not hearing from God. Hallelujah. And that's why you are missing the truth. When you have errors in your everything you do, there must be an error there. Even when you say good morning, sometimes you have you have to know already. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, because I have not left the house today, I don't know it's afternoon. You are very prone to error. You know why? Because you are not hearing from God. Human beings can acquire knowledge by themselves and become mini gods, but you don't have that capacity. Wait till you know. So, in order to hide your inadequacies, hide under the voice of God. It's going to make you look fantastic and brilliant. Why? He can tell you things spot on that you don't need to read in books. My spirit is renewed. My spirit, My spirit is, is renewed. reformed My spirit to be able reformed. to understand to and hear the voice of God. From today, my spirit is renewed. My spirit is renewed. My spirit is reformed to be able to hear and understand the voice of God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mightiest name, we have prayed. Let my heaven open. Let my soul be free and grown to the level of hearing. Lord, let my heaven open. Let my soul be free. Let my soul grow to be able to hear from God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name, we have prayed. 